Are, are you recording? Okay, okay. so <laughs> we're back at another YouTube channel. This is not a vlog this time. We're gonna have like vlogs and we're gonna have um, in depth working on a car, the Trailblazer today. Um, show them the Trailblazer, mate. So I'm gonna introduce this on this video. I, I, we did record some other video of us introducing it, but we never finished the video. So we're just gonna re kind of just introduce it. You know what I mean? So this is my. 07, 06, 08, I don't fucking know right now. Uh, Trailblazer. It came, um, it's just an LT, so it's not an SS. So, I obviously had to do a little modification and, uh, you know, get a little 6.0 in there. So, basically, I have a 6.0 LQ9. It's too dark. Huh? You can't see. Can, you you can, can't see it? You can barely see. There you Back go. up a little. I can see. You get it. You get yeah yeah uh, all right <laughs> yeah we good <laughs> <laughs> so um this is my 60 LQ9 motor I bought it for a thousand like five hundred dollars just a block and then I have square rec port heads um, LS7 lifters um, dual valve springs stage three summit racing cam 3200 torque converter 60 pound injectors 102 millimeter <laughs> throttle body the Chinese intake one that was like only like six hundred bucks. But there, there's a reason I only bought the Chinese one because I'm planning on going a little spooly in it. <laughs> I'm gonna put a turbo down here and another turbo right here probably. I don't know if I'm gonna go two or one yet. Probably one because I'm only gonna run like 10 pounds of boost trying to make like seven to 800 wheel horsepower on this fucking bitch. <laughs> so I'm running stock training right now. Yes, I know, 4L blowy. -E. And then uh, I'm gonna end up running a 4L 80E stage two or one, either one, I don't know. I, I don't know what I can handle. My tuner said I should be able to handle stage one with just a shift kit. And um, I'm going to have to get another torque converter, blah, 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 drive shaft. I got uh, two aluminum drive shafts that I'm going to try out. And then um, back to the engine, we have a G8 water pump, uh, electric fans. Don't ask about the water pump. It was actually the original one was uh, blew off the car on the highway racing people. <laughs> In the middle of Chicago, I had to fucking hand sand on my fucking balls and knees to fucking get it on there. Uh, <laughs> we have the stock, the AC stuff still works. Uh, it's just not plugged in right now. Um, the overflow tank, we're going to delete that. But for right now, this is all just what I have done right now. And oh yeah, Summit Racing fly cut piston tops, 4th gen rods, before I forget. Um, Corvette C6 oil pan. Because I wanted the rear wheel drive swap it. And that is actually simple to do. So if you guys want to end that video on how to rear wheel drive it, I, I can definitely make a video on that. Because it was real simple. The only hard part, I would say, is um, probably deleting the four wheel drive part. And if you have an SS, I can explain how to swap that one too. Because I know at the top of my head. And um, I have Nikki 20 inch rims. They're only 9 inch wide. But... Um, they were grippy. Now they're bald as shit. Bald in that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> but um, we have a lowering kit. It did come rusted. You know, Illinois car. I completely cut this out, welded it in, and just put primer over it. It really needs to be painted, I know. So this side of the car right here, Nate, show them a little glimpse from my view. This side of the car is not polished. Now you come back here. <laughs> oh, also, I deleted the um, the hitch for the rear hitch, and she's pretty sturdy. She flaps a little on the highway, going like 150, but it's okay. Now show them this side. Does it look way better on camera? Can you tell the difference? You can definitely tell. Yeah, that this side is polished, and so today, basically, what I'm gonna do all day. Oh, the interior. Come on, first. It's a little dirty. Okay, so look at we the have the. Huh? Oh, show, them, show them the dash, bro. <laughs> the fucking paint is crazy. So, it's all leather interior. I got, I had the rear seats. Don't show them the rear, bro. It's dirty. It's dirty, bro. It's dirty. <laughs> so, I custom made this cluster. I cut out the panels, made it. And I have the uh, training gauge right there. I'm going to be running a boost panel when I have the boost. I did suede headliner. And, um... Yes, I'm running a fire extinguisher because it's a fucking Chevy. And um, I have the double dyne radio. That bitch is beautiful, bro. I play my videos on it all the time, bro. Oh, yeah. It's fucking sick. <laughs> so that's mainly what I did to the interior. 
I rewired a lot of shit. The wiring was insane because it was an LT. And I got it dyno tuned and street tuned. So it got both. Yes, you're going to need that if you cam it and swap to my engine, of course. So I did that. I got tint all around 15 and then uh, 25 on the front. And then the undercarriage, clean. Not a speck of rust. Barely any. And then that was why I really wanted this car. I bought this car 800 fucking dollars. And I put a lot of money in this shit. Like, $30,000. <laughs> I don't know about that much, but I put a lot of fucking money in this bitch. And most of it was the engine. Like, literally 90% of it was the fucking engine. And the train shit. And all the accessories for the engine you just fucking raped me. The hood is garbage, bro. Literally, scratches all over it. I don't give a fuck. I'm running a crowd hood soon. So, I had a roof rack. Don't show them the top, bro. It's not bad. <laughs> the roof rack. I deleted the roof rack. Put it back. All right. So today the goal is is this is my front end parts. I'm going to be changing out these and these, and um, we're gonna bring back the old front end parts. I will show in depth on why I'm swapping these because, dude, when you guys see this control arm, you're gonna be like, holy fuck. Main reason is. Uh, fellow, can you share on TikTok? Oh uh, god, bro. We got an Indexus clan TikTok, <coughs> and we got um, that slow third gen. That was because my Firebird. Get, get, let's <laughs> let's show him uh, the Firebird. <laughs> Nine hundred horsepower, hundred pivot turn. Firebird, yeah. She's no, she's a little dirty, bro. She's a little dirty. Yeah, I got stuff. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Oh shit. Damn, bro. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. All right, come back over here. Come back over here. We got Justo. He literally robbed, raped, sexually assaulted, and fucking s s shanked to death this old man for this car, by the way. Literally raped him, fucking molested him, spit on his fucking asshole, then fucking finger fucked him till he bleeded for this car, by the way. Pretty much. What so the hell, he's bro? over here. Over here. Rewiring his entire dash. Ripping his fucking dash out. What the fuck, bro? So he's putting in some subs. <laughs> In the OBS, you know, typical Mexican. <laughs> I can say hey, that. I can say that. I can say that. I'm normal. <laughs> I can say that. This is unexpected. So we got the 5.7 carbureted TBI. You know, these handy dandy Chevy engines. This is the, the fucking highlight of America engine right here. <laughs> Every fucking goddamn car back in the 80s. And it probably makes like, what do you think it makes it a wheel? Like 600? About 600 a wheel? About 600 horsepower a wheel? That's like a thousand fifty. Thousand fifty a wheel. Thousand. So uh, he got this bitch for six hundred fucking dollars. Yeah, that's why he dry fucked, raped, and molested that fucking old dude. Well, six hundred fucking dollars, dude. I literally fucking let someone fucking rape me for a fucking truck like this. Bitch. Look, we have an OBS fucking girl right here. This bitch has been sitting in the garage, kind of around. <laughs> so we have the Firebird in here too. The Firebird will be getting worked on after this. I've been dumping so much. To grandpa. I've been dumping so much money in this bitch that it's just been a pain in the ass. Pause it. Pause it. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I was getting bitched at by my grandpa, so I had to go do that. Fucking got gas squirted in my fucking eye like a fucking fat black chick squirted in my face. Um, <laughs> so basically, this we got it jacked up. I'm gonna show you guys what I am entirely replacing. So I'm replacing every bushing and um. Ball joint on this entire see, tire. Oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. It should autofocus. All right, so look, this one, show them. Get back, get back a little. No noise, right? You guys hear no noise? Bring them over here. <laughs> Bring them over. No way, do it again. So, what we're gonna do is replace every bushing and every tie rod and every fucking Ball joint and a whole entire front end. So let me get with the front end first. Let me grab my tool for a quick. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> get it down here now. Wait, can you see the bushing? All right, show them the bushings now. <laughs> can you see it move? <laughs> show them this side. Get on this angle. Get on this way. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to do that, guys. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty, man. 
So it's good. We can take this off. It looks like you're Jesus <laughs> when you looked up like that. What the, ah! what the fuck? Ah. Bro, why are your lug nuts so damn tight? Nah, nah, don't ask. I, I did put them on, bro. Bro, I think you put them nah, on. No, the, uh, the shop I take it to all the time does it. It's called like, <laughs> they just don't know how to put on It's called my nuts. garage. Alright, bro. Bro, your air impacts suck. It's the best air impact in the market. Yeah, I bought it from Farm Fleet like <laughs> fucking 40 years ago. Why can't it get an easy ass lug nut off? No, wait, this, if this cheap ass heart freight impact takes it off better, I'm gonna get a fucking. Alright, bro. Alright, look. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to go a little faster than me. Go. Dude, how big are these, bro? These are fat. They're like an inch, bro. They're like an inch and a half. Dude, they're literally fat as shit. Should I get my tamer turn? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's just the sun. <laughs> shit was loud as fuck. Alright. So, um, now we're going to get a 17. Sorry about it. Yeah, this bitch is sexy. $30 at Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Harbor Freight, man. Right? <laughs> How long do you think it'll last? Probably like a fucking week. Oh my god, bro. We're going we're the right way. Over tighten this one, too. Going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, am I going the wrong way? <laughs> yeah. It says on and off on your oh, yeah. fucking brad <laughs> <laughs> Another over tightened bolt again. Yo, my calibers don't come loose. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Show them back here, bro. Oh. Well, delete that. Bro, I'm not weak, I promise, bro. Like, he's weak, guys. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Every bolt is gonna be like this, bro. I can tell. <laughs> I don't know why I'd be putting them on so damn tight. It's not because of all the Loctite I'd be putting on these bitches, bro. <laughs> Look, you can literally see the Loctite still in that bitch. <laughs> it's still moist, bro. <laughs> smells good. My, uh, wheel bearing center. The last I know, Nate is completely gone because he went to a shady mechanic instead of me and got ripped off and raped. And then uh, now he's wondering, oh, why is, why is every check engine and stable track and traction control light on? And uh, how do I delete it? <laughs> All he has to do is buy a $14 sensor, but he still hasn't bought that shit because he don't give a fuck. Bro, I'm yet. tight. <laughs> All the sockets are with the sockets, though. And all the wrenches are with the wrenches. So, and all the screwdrivers are with the screwdrivers. You need to organize your sockets. Nah, bro. It makes it funner whenever you work up. Are you? One's 15, the other one's 16. This is that truck again. Was it the black truck? Yeah. Diesel truck. <laughs> he said some fucking years. <laughs> Alright. 16 millimeter or 15? Oh yeah. The living shit out of it with a hammer. And that usually... No. That usually <laughs> works. Spread that bitch open. One more. Damn, bro. Something like that. Oh, all these bushings will be pressed out with a hammer, sadly. <laughs> Pause it real quick. Get Dustle. Dustle, tell him what you're doing. Give him a little brief introduction. So, I had a beamer here, you know, I crashed it, right? So I was gonna put the 12s in there, but... <laughs> It, it, no, I hit a pole. Fucking yeah. So now we're texting putting, and driving we're kids. The 12s in the K15. He was drinking and driving. He was no, texting was and not. driving. Actually, I had Unacceptable. A donut eye for doing so many fucking donuts and drifts. You all seen it? Get that. Get, get it. Bro, the snap ring just broke. All right, go back to him. So yeah, I'm just putting 12s in there. That's it. Hold up. All right. In order to press the bearing out, you kind of just. Beam like a redheaded stepchild. Bro! It didn't even work! What the? Alright. We're gonna go with a little different method of push switch. Boom! 
boom, came out like butter. It is? Never mind. Right. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. Do I look good out here? Oh, well, it looks really bright out here. Bro, you're getting the lens all dirty, bro. <laughs> all right, back in. We're over here. He's setting up a sex machine to fuck him while he's driving. Dude, why would you tell me? <laughs> right now he's uh, crimping his power wire. Well, trying to right now. Trying to crimp it. Whoa, fuck you, bitch. Firebird runs to drive, by the way. Turbo have the Civic. Twin turbo, actually. It's a sleeper, but it, it's always sleeping, and it's like in a coma. With this, usually what people do is they hit the sock. If you are not replacing the bushings, you would hit the side, put the nut back on, blah, blah, blah do all that, but we're replacing it, so it don't matter. This is the bushing, by the way, guys. This is... <laughs> really horrible. No. I'm not even playing. Should not move freely like that. It should be stiff. The other side, I'm not gonna go in depth on how to take it off um, because you guys don't wanna see it twice. I mean, it's a little micro average size screwdriver. Then, like I said, 91% of the time, I don't think it's going down at all. <laughs> Does so? Okay. Where is my torch? Down there. Uh, I was gonna grab it when we went down there too, but uh, fuck you. <laughs> the remote to the power, it turns on. You're not getting a remote then. How do I cha How do I put that bitch on a switch? Why do you want to put that switch? Cause what if I want to listen to country music? I don't want to fucking listen to goddamn subs. Do you branch it between your remote? Usually. So I don't need my remote. You do need your remote. You branch it between your I remote. I wonder why it's not working. Your radio, you have a wire wrong to your radio. I don't think I have wired wrong, I might have came out, I might have got pulled out. Yeah, either that or you got a wire wrong. And a little pussy, real quick. Good. It'd be a hundred times easier if you had a bearing press. That's so. It's good. Have you ever hit a vape in your life? No. Hell no. Nathan, have you hit a vape in your entire life? Don't even say no because I'll grab a fucking vape out of your pocket right now. <laughs> I, I don't got it, bro. Oh, you don't have it right now? I quit vaping, bro. Oh, yesterday? Today. Barely lost. Go! Finally. This one wasn't even bad, bro. You record? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so um, we did a lot. <laughs> well, you well, we gave we. I didn't want to record this whole process because I feel like it would definitely be too deep. It's messy. This whole garage is devoured because we've been locked the fuck in. So look. Here is the track bar. Don't want. I don't know why the bushings are blue now, but they're blue. So, bring them over here. Took the track bar out. Took the whole little to charm off. We painted all this because I won't have my liner in no more. I cut the notches out. Um, it looks really fucking good right now. And I cleaned up a lot. And we're gonna end up. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna record this process, but I'm gonna put everything back in here. And then I'll let you guys see what we put in there. But I, I think it did good. We did like the right shit. We did cleaned up anything that was surface rust and painted everything. We painted everything with the rust inhibitor and everything. So it should be okay. And I know my wheel well is going to be open, but it was pretty much open anyway. There was water shooting up in it. It was just fucking a mess. So we're going to, I'm going to edit, like, do all this real quick, put it together. And then we're gonna get you like a little clip on what it looks like with everything on. I'm dead. I'm an angel. 
right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got to zoom in. All right. So, um, guys, it's probably like three hours later, and uh, yeah, we've been we've been grinding the shit, and um, we're gonna call it a night for tonight. Nate's not gonna be here tomorrow, so it's gonna be like me recording only. But I will keep you guys updated. Let's um, show them what's up. So, uh, this is the front end so far. We did the upper and lower control arms, all boy ball joints, inner and outer tie rod. Damn, this shit, like, show them the inner wheel. Did you see the engine bay? Yeah, yeah. see? There's a big hole in the engine bay now. Oh, shit. You spilled my nut of butters. <laughs> so, um, we're, I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight. It's gonna be the same video, yes. But I'm just gonna let you guys know the rest of the footage is gonna be um, recorded by me. So, I'm gonna try my best. And, um,. Alright guys, it's the next day. I know I don't look black anymore. It was not a racist joke. That was just formal information. So, um, I'm gonna give you guys like another half update or whatever. I know the other the other it's all in the same video, but this baby looking pretty. But um this side's all dry. It's all done. Looks pretty fucking good. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna keep these liners out. I know a lot of people don't recommend it, but this thing is not going to be driven in the winter no more. It's going to be a summer thing. And uh, so I'm just going to start doing this to this side. I'm going to start taking everything off on this side. I'm going to set the camera up and I'll show you before and after. All right, so guys, um, <clears throat> I got the intake back on and I got the rims back on. But... um. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but so, uh, I'm gonna start her up, give her a little test drive, and I'll let you guys know. Like, I'll give you a little ride too, right along. I don't know how I'm gonna set you up. All right, I'm back. Jump scare right there, by the way. Um, so, uh, she's all lowered down, not lowered in general. So, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little cold start real quick. Hopefully, this thing doesn't just like automatically like blow up. For Running good. It's not even in high lobe yet, but once it's in high lobe, it'll sound so freaking good. There it goes, it's going. Wheel bearing sensor, the speed, whatever, speed sensor, some shit like that. It's the gay shit, no, no, man. Alright, guys, I'm trying not to back out into my grandpa's truck. So, oh my god, dude, I literally look like a pilgrim. Oh, that works. Alright, there it goes. Alright, so, um, let's check the alignment. See she drives straight. This motherfucker's driving perfectly fucking straight through a shop and get a don't mind all this shit in the back. It's for work. It's my work truck. But uh I'm definitely gonna go to the alignment shop and get alignment and shit. I don't know when, but definitely sometime this week. I mean I got work, so it's kinda hard. We're just gonna do a little test drive. Oh my god, it feels so good. We're gonna do a little pool. <laughs> God, she feels way better. Holy shit. Like, way fucking better. It grips, like, better, Loki. It feels like it, but I don't know if that has something to do with the suspension lines that I did. Like, maybe it needed it, but. I don't know if it's from not driving this bitch for fucking two days or holy fucking shit this bitch is gripping like it it feels like it's like more stable you know I bet it, it definitely is more stable but like dude for real it's insane and the alignment is a little off you don't notice it it's definitely steering to the left a little bit but I mean I'm just gonna get it aligned anyway uh, here, I'll show you guys. This is fucking 
nice. Like this is this is. Oh fuck! I'm about to swerve into the other lane. Oh my god. Am I zoomed in? All right. So let's see if I can give you a better view. So this is me going straight. It's it's pretty fucking dead on, honestly. But when I'm flooring this fucking motherfucker, dude. Sorry for cussing so much. Um, when I'm flooring this baby, it just be steering to the left a little. It never did. Like not steering to the left, but the you could you have to turn your steering wheel. Like I can feel the suspension wise. Like it feels good. It feels like a brand new fucking car, and and that's insane because this bitch was so loose. Even when I got my shit dyno tuned, my tuner was like, you got something wrong with the front end of your car, man. I just been beating the shit out of it since then, bro. And when I tell you my ball joints and tie rods, and they were shocked. On the left side were horrible. The right side was, eh, you know what I mean? Like, like imagine like a cheap stripper versus an expensive stripper. I got the expensive stripper now. I had the cheap stripper, you know what I mean? Like the, the $30 per night stripper. I got the $30 per minute stripper, you know what I mean? good one wait prostitute yeah prostitute that's that's a better example right there but um yeah it, uh so far so good and i i i don't know if you guys like this content of me just um like doing car work i mean if you guys want to see a lot more of that too like even if you guys got any questions on certain type of cars i can do a q a and answer them for you guys challenger answer them for you guys and like to my best knowledge i'm i'm in no awesome fucking car mechanic genius i just get it done you know what i mean i learn get it done you know what i mean there's a mercedes why is there why is all these nice cars passing by but i get it done and i try to do my best you know what i mean and obviously you know this is like the front end should have took a lot less but i did a lot of prep work i did a lot of undercarriage work i did a lot of painting i did a lot of cleaning up I cleaned up anything greasy. I cut my wheel wells out. You know what I mean? And I like it better now. I like it like that. This car is not going to be a winter car no more. It is going to be summer strictly. Or spring. I don't care. I'll drive it until it fucking snows. Once it snows, locking her up. So uh, that's going to be the new car now. Like, I'm going to get a little daily. I'll show you guys that. That's going to be the sub car. I, if you guys want me to make content on the sub car, go ahead. Go ahead and just comment down below if you want me to make content on it. If not, if you think that would be boring, then just tell me not to fucking make it. Just don't even comment. And, uh, I'm heading home now. So, I just wanted to wrap it up and say, um, thank you guys for really watching. And I'll try to upload content myself if you guys like it. Uh, I'm trying to be as entertaining as I can to, throughout the video. And if there's any like tips and tricks, or I mean like the camera wise or idea wise, please just comment down below. Please like, please follow. And I really appreciate all you guys watching and supporting us. Thank you.